Hello everyone, let's look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is rolling out in the dev and beta channels with the release of Windows 11, build 26.220.6972 and build 26.120.7972. Remember that Microsoft rolls out these improvements gradually and it could take some time until they reach every device. Okay, let's dive into the changes. First, starting with build 26.220, the 69.72, the company continues to work to improve the dark mode experience, especially in File Explorer. But first, I just wanted to show you that now also the run command takes the dark mode color from the operating system. Now, if we go to File Explorer, we're going to see that the Folder Options page has now been updated, and this is how it looks with the Dark Mode treatment. It is taking a long time, but slowly the company is finally starting to complete the dark mode experience on Windows 11. Now, if we go to the settings app, we're going to see that Microsoft is updating the mobile devices page to include all the mobile device settings on the same experience. In the past, if you needed to connect your phone, then you have to click a button that will open an external page in order to complete the process and control the settings. Now, all those settings and controls are on this page. So for example, if you want to add a device, you just need to click the add device here, and then you just need to complete the process. Now, if you have a mobile device connected to Windows, then it will appear right here on this page. And then if we click here, that will take us to another page where you can control the different features available and we can also remove the device. Microsoft did not make a mention of this, but if we go to system nearby sharing, we are going to see that now we have a dedicated option to disable the drag trait feature. I have been getting a lot of comments on how to disable this feature in the past. So it is nice to see that Microsoft is adding this option. So right now, if we drag a file to the top, we're going to see the drag tray right here. So now if we turn this off, you're going to see that that feature is now disabled. Now, if we go to accessibility and then if we open the contrast settings. Microsoft also did not mention this, but it's bringing the keyboard shortcut to control the contrast themes to the settings app. This is not a new feature, but it was previously only available in control panel. Now, in the start menu, the accounts menu, we're going to see that now Microsoft is adding a new link that opens the benefits that you get when using a Microsoft 365 subscription. Also in the settings app, if you see the Game Pass card. Now that card has been updated to reflect the changes in the Xbox Game Pass subscriptions. And that's it. Those were pretty much all the biggest features and changes that we're going to see in this preview of Windows 11. Now, as per usual, the company is rolling out all the fixes and known issues that you need to know upgrading to this specific bill. You can also check the link in the description to get more information about the releases and the dev and beta channels. And that's it. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.